Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Laravel Studios. This is Android programming. We'll be looking at the Android sliding menu using the navigation drawer. In most of the Android applications like Facebook, Google+, Plus, YouTube, Amazon Kindle, TrueColor, etc. You, you have seen a side menu which appears on click of an icon on top left corner or by dragging onto the screen from left to right. So here in this tutorial, we shall see how to create a sliding menu for your Android application. Um, I'll be using the uh, Android Studios development uh, environment. Um, looking at your screen right now, you see the pages that we will be looking into the programming this page, the control page that moves to Facebook, Google Plus, and intuitive is right shown on your screen these are the pages that we'll be creating so let me dash straight to my development environment and let us see how the application has been developed uh, go down to my Android studio we're looking straight at the strings XML which sits in the directory of the rest the value the string XML the string XML has the app name sliding menu with the settings now this this yeah this particular file holds the um, the, the 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 strings as the text usage in the application it, it has an array of icons calling the drawable which is a um, the icon of each item the facebook google plus and the um, tb which stands for the intuitive third other one now we'll be looking at the activity main which is the default activity this sits in the layout folder the activity main is wrapped in a frame layout with a list view Rather, it's wrapped in a drawer layout which has a frame in the drawer layout as a child. In the frame layout, we have the list view which lists out the icons and the text that's the, the text the format for those icons. Um, let's look at the list item XML that holds on all list item. It's a, it's, it is a relative layout. It's image view and text view the image view is actually holding on to the drawable facebook so we will digress a little bit and go into our java file we actually have a couple of java files created in the directory we have the custom adapter the main activity which is the default uh uh, the first Java uh, class and the row item and also there is a package where we have the Facebook fragment, the Google Plus fragment and the TB fragment which stands for intuitive that holds the pages that's the fragment the code that controls the pages where each icons are being linked to now we're going to the row item class quickly uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a short class with uh, two fields, the title and the icon. The row item constructor holds the title and the icon because that, that, that's the two uh, parameters that will be passed. You know, setting this particular one to this title so any, but any, any ID that is passed through will be set. Now we do a get and set method that sets the title and sets the icon as a short one. Now let's look at the custom adapter. The custom adapter has a generic list and the contest. There is a constructor for that. The custom adapter also holds the list and the context with a view order which is holding the image view icon and the text view. Of the icon now there is a get view method that has three parameters the position where it sits the convert view and 
the parent, the convert view and the parent that's where exactly is it coming from. So it inflates and calls on the list item layout where the variable order icon holds on to the ID of the icon, the order title holds on to the ID of the title which is being set and the convert view tree is being set. Else if this is an if statement running, else the convert view we get the tag of each one. Now it's convert, it returns the convert view. We have the get count method and the get item method with also the get item ID method as well. Or let's look at the Facebook fragment of let's look at the fragment of each one which sits in the slide list. We have the Facebook fragment. There's a fragment that actually holds it extends the, the parent class fragment on create view. There's the, there's a view, there's a root view. This is the fragment of each link pages we have for the Google Plus also, just like the Facebook and for the intuitive, just like the Facebook. Also, don't worry about the the red underlines is going to get up when we build the application. So that's that's all. Let's look at the main class, which is the main activity. Okay, there's a string array. It extends activity. We have some imports, a lot of imports. We have to import the package, Facebook fragment, Google plots, and the TB fragment. The three fragments used were imported. And also, we are okay. Uh, we have a protected class, a void on create. Calling on, calling on the layout, the activity main layout, and we set the M title to get the title of the drawer title. The menu titles, we get the string, which is an array of the titles. The menu icons, is that these are variables that are holding on to these values. This is an array to call in the icons. The drawer layout is calling the drawer layout um, XML, and the list view to calling the slider list. The row items is an is being initialized to the new array list while a for statement which actually calls on the menu titles length with an increment of one and initializing and holding on to the value of menu titles, menu icons getting the ID and also added them to each rows. The many icons were recycled for other usage and the adapter class is being initialized to call on the roll items. The draw list sets the adapter and sets an on-click listener to the click of each icons this is enabling the action bar app icon and behaving it as toggle button you know when you enable it so it's, it gets toggled and there's a back button sort of a, the home button taken back home the m drawer toggle holds on the the drawer layout with the icon of the drawer in the drawable folder over here method that's handling the toggle on drawer closed and on the drawer opened saving its instance on first time display view for first nav item saving the instances now there is a method update display which has a case the switch statement passing on position calling on the new Facebook fragment or the Google Plus and the other icon fragment 
if the fragment is not equals to null replace the fragment with the appropriate id that's just it else bring an error error in creating fragment now other ones are just commensurate with the previous application on post create this is the saving instance that are there default or you may as well decide not to add some of them now you can go through this source code yourself you can get the source code for my github account right shown on your screen so let us do a quick launch of this application and let's see how it displays in our journey motion emulator the grid console is running this let me launch out okay um the journey motion does build Let's see the display in our journey motion emulator. Okay. Comes up. This is the drawer. Once click, you can notice there is a drawer. So with each icon and title. When we pick the Google Plus, it takes us to the Google Plus fragment handled by the fragment manager. Intuitive, it takes us to the intuitive fragment with the add title. Likewise, Facebook, taking us to the Facebook fragment with a title. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Android freebies tutorial. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.